Good day, everyone. My name is Fox Blockhead, and welcome to Minecraft with Blockhead. That's me. We're going to have a name change for this series. It's not going to be building with Blockhead anymore. I've decided I do more than just building. I do. I do adventuring. I do redstone. Uh, even though redstone is kind of building anyway. Uh, but I'm going to show you what I've been working on here. The 2017 Tour de France has just finished, and you might not like it. But around the corner here, and I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a tour today as well, if you're joining us for the first time, I have created the second of our Tour de France jerseys in this field just here. You know what I'm going to need? I'm going to need some sort of a balcony so we can actually see this, see this bike that I built. Was it last year? Year before. Let's have a look. Oh, 2015, so two years ago I built this one. Holy moly. But uh, today what we're going to do is, uh, this is this is my green jersey variant. You can see we've got the uh, the yellow and the polka dot for Chris Froome. He won the jewel jerseys. It was the first time in a long time. And then we've got this one over here, which is my green jersey, because we have an Aussie fellow, Michael Matthews. Le Tour de France doesn't fit. Le Tour Green Jersey winner. Oh, 2017. Michael Matthews. Australia on, I'm pretty sure, let me just quickly check, on 370 points. Beating out Andre Greipel, another great sprinter. Um, I was going to put a block of emerald there somewhere. Maybe? Let's see what that looks like, shall we? Uh, we've got a couple of new beds over here. Two green beds to go with the green jersey. Um, and we'll have to move that. I've got some torches just to light it up a little bit. I haven't seen it at night yet. Let's see what that looks like. That probably looks really dorky and bad. Let's have a look. Book. I need to really light this area up. Um, I'll leave it for now, and we'll see. We'll see what uh, what it turns out like. But let's sleep. Sleep in the green bed this time, and we'll do a bit of a uh, an overview of what's going on and what's been happening. So, I've taken a little bit of a break from Minecraft because, let's face it, you do get burnt out on it. And uh, just been doing bits and pieces here and there, just uh, keeping up my skills, I guess, improving things, quality of life type stuff. Um, yeah, things like uh, trimming off the the vines and and building little bits and pieces. Um, if you've watched this before, you'll know that this has now expanded. Let me show you the redstone back here, and we've got a light there. I'll show you what that's like. Here's our redstone. Let's let's get up here. Uh, here's the redstone for that monstrosity that you saw out there. We've got hoppers feeding my phone buzz. Uh, we've got hoppers feeding charcoal through to all of these so we can use charcoal rather than coal through the back here. Then we've got comparators underneath here. Let's see if we can see them. Comparators underneath here. So when the furnace fills up to an amount and the overflow hopper uh, fills up to a certain amount it will lock the hopper at the top and the charcoal will flow to the next available furnace that's the idea, I just want, I wanted a 64 in the furnace plus I think I've got it set to uh, 3 redstone dust so I think that's another 40 46 I think so 64 and 46 and then up here this is my uh, single furnace for actually burning the charcoal in the first place and that one's got an overflow as well so that needs to have uh, charcoal in there plus a bit of a backup so that I can always be burning charcoal and then over here we've got our overflow chest so if it goes through all of these if I'm just doing charcoal and we get an overflow we can do that and then that button down the front there I've got a, a gate here 
with two pistons and a block. So when there's items in this hop in this chest and I press the button at the front, the signal will come through here, activating this piston here, and all of these items will come out of this hopper doo -doo -doo -doo, on the end here into a dropper which will do 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 down there to the end, and there's a hopper a uh, an item elevator over here which will send them back through so it'll send them back through to this furnace first and then back through to all of the other furnaces and it will only activate if those two conditions are met there's items in the hopper in the chest up there and I press the button right now nothing in the hopper so it's not going to do it and uh, nothing in the chest man I've said that three times um, I press the button, fine, it lights up, but it activates and then it deactivates because there's nothing in the hopper. And I wanted it to, to work so that it would turn on and wait until the chest was emptied, then turn off. So we've got uh, five, six, seven, a seven furnace furnace array. And we've got food over here. I want to have the food coming from my food production area uh, on a train on a cart over here and unloading to do food automatically. We've got mutton, we've got beef, we've got... I don't have a pigsty yet. I need a pigsty. And we've got uh, the other one, food, I think, potato, baked potatoes. Uh, we've got the nether, the nether furnace, we've got the glass furnace, we've got the stone furnace, we've got the terracotta furnace. Let's see, I'm starting to get some terracotta here and some of the glazed stuff that we can use. We've got a gold furnace and an iron furnace. You can see I've been burning... What have I been burning? This one here, this one's going down. I need some more charcoal for you. You're good, you're good. So I want to try and keep these guys topped up if I can. Okie dokie. So I'm going to try and keep these episodes to 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. Don't want to go too overboard with it. Uh, very, very soon I want to go... Oh, can we see it from here? I want to go and actually create a map. Look at that. That actually looks kind of cool. Don't know about the emerald block, though. I thought that might be cool because of the uh, the whole green nature of it, but I've got enough green over there. I'm sure that'll be fine. Uh, we need to create a map of this area, and we need to go and kill the dragon, because I still haven't killed the dragon in this world yet. Um, but I also wanted to show you what I've been doing in here, in my epicenter, my dome. I've been collecting things. We've got, oh, I've got to put a um, an item frame. So we've got the coal on there, we've got iron. So we've got the ore, the block, and the and the gem of all of these guys. The redstone back there. We've got all the stone types there and there. We've got the ice types. We've found uh, packed ice as well. We've got pods all. We've got dirt, coarse dirt. I want grass on top of that one got granite andesite, we've got the orange, we're going to have the orange variants of the, the sand right there. Oh, where's the rest of the sand? Maybe that'll have to be all the sand. We've got, um, what's that one, that's a clay block, that's a, a brick, and then I'll have to put a quartz up there, so we're going to have the individual clay, we've got the end items, we've got the nether items, and we'll go this way. Over this way, we've got, we're going to have all the other items. Now, I'm going to take some of these away. Actually, I'm going to take some of these, um, like the powered rails. We're going to have a whole other redstone section. We're going to have suits of armor. Check those out. So we've got, uh, we're going to have a diamond suit there, gold. We've got chain. I've got to kill the mobs to get that one. We've got iron. We've got leather. Um, we've got, what's that? There's an iron bar. We've got the fence posts. The epicenter is coming along. And then in here, this is going to be my colorful room. And we're going to have all the things. We're going to have all the different things of all the different colours. Have I still got? Uh, but it has to go in the same the same order. So we're going to start with wool. Uh, that looks like concrete powder. That's the wool's meant to be on the bottom. You, uh, but yes, we're going to start with wool, concrete powder, terracotta. What's that? That's. What are you and what are you? Then glazed terracotta, glass, and glass pane at the very top. So all the different items that are yellow, green, okay, lime green, blue, light blue, uh, red, orange, and all the gray scale on this side, or something like that anyway. We're going to have that going on. What are you? Oh, 
We'll get to find out, won't we? Oh, that's the concrete. Oh, the concrete. You know what? I forgot about concrete. Maybe concrete would look better instead of the terracotta over on the uh, the green the green jersey. And then this is uh, undecided as yet. I'm not quite sure what's going to go in here. Um, but I do want to try and collect one of everything in the game. We've also got our directions here, northwest, south and east, so we can try and orient ourselves as we go through. So, that's kind of what I've been up to, collecting things, moving things around, emptying chests, chopping wood, going caving, all that kind of stuff. And actually there was a cave that I wanted to check out here. We've got a couple of minutes left, let's go and do that. Um, actually, let's drop off some stuff first over here, because I'm going to take a whole lot of stuff in a cave with me. And I heard some noises off to the left. And... Where was it? Down here a bit more? No, down here a bit more. Yeah, it was right down near the bottom. I heard some noises, so I came in here and I lit this up just here. And... Um... There was something over in this general vicinity that, oh, cave, that I thought maybe, I uh, must have been in here already because there's torches. Got some more iron. I know you probably don't want to see me collecting iron. You can see anyone collect iron. Piece of gold, that's a, well, not that deep. Um... I wonder, have I been... Ah, uh, there are places in here that I have not been, though. Let me see. That... Sounds like darkness. So I am... I do have a mob... I do have a mob farm Harlow. Take on my infinity bow, Mr. Skeleton. Beow. Yes, gotcha. Uh, I, I do have a mob farm that I'm trying to make more efficient all the time. Oh, hello. Were you the one that I saw before? Maybe. Oh, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, except for some gravel. Oh, 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 no! Hello! Hello! Oh, a bit of lag. Give me some armor. No. Oh, oh, this is the first spawner I think I've actually found in real life in this game. For reals. And I say for real life because it's not a cave spider spawner. That is a big opening back that way. Alright, well, let's finish off with this. Let's finish off with us actually finding two chests. How sweet is that? Alright, let's have a look. What do we find in chest number one? Horse armor, bucket, iron, wheat, bread. Oh, and a name tag. That's pretty cool. Name tag. Take that so I know I've been in here. And... Oh, there's some more saddles, some golden armor. Oh, I've got to have a spot for go for my armor as well. And a spawner. Now, I'm pretty sure... Let's have a look at the coordinates here. And is that a screenshot? It is, good. Um, I'm pretty sure that is pretty well underneath. Do I have my ladders? I don't. I dropped the ladders. Well, I didn't think I was going to find a spawner. Well, I've taken the coordinates. Where do we go? Let's get back out of here. Uh, we'll find out where it is. Okay, that so is right. I want another screenshot. Okay, so it's minus 200 and about 200. So I think it's back this way a little bit, if I remember rightly. Okay, so I think that spawner is about... About... Maybe it's right underneath my epicenter. That would be kind of weird. I think it was about here. But that's alright because... Let's get rid of the coordinates. Because I want to have a little bit of a challenge. If you want to, you can have zombies come up and actually uh, come up and interfere in the maze as part of a, as an extra challenge. Maybe if you, if you choose a certain level. Maybe. Anyway, we'll save that for a future episode. Thank you very much for joining. If you have any 
comments, improvements about the green jersey. I'm going to try concrete for definite sure. But about anything else, if you have any ideas, things that I should do, just so you know, this is going to be a bit of a theme park. We've all already got uh, the Arc de Triomphe over there. We've got, this is a, going to be a chicken shop in here, so we've got some a food area. We've got our sign boards, we'll put uh, maps up on those. This is the, the, the headquarters kind of area. We've got the food, uh, the animal over area and the staging area is going to be over that way. The epicenter is like a big Minecraft block museum. And we've got our potion room over this way as well, with some other buildings and rooms. So, yeah, any ideas, let me know. And, of course, we'll be back again soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later, alligators. Don't watch.